OK, some of Australia's most beloved storybook characters are being brought to life in a new stage production at the Sydney Opera House, which is set to tour nationally. It's almost 100 years since Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie and their friends were first introduced to us in books by the author Mae Gibbs. Our reporter Rachel Papazzoni took a look at the new production. There's hardly a household in Australia that hasn't played home to Snugglepot and Cuddle Pie in the last 100 years. And now those characters and, and the gumnut babies and the big bad Banksia men are coming to life on stage. And I'm here with the director of this brand new play, Susanna Dowling, which opens in Sydney this month. Susanna, these are characters that Australian children know very, very well. What will they see as part of the show? Well, I think the thing with the show is is to really bring it into the 21st century and connect with kids today. Um, so, so the Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie, um, in our own imagining, um, they're not 18-month-old babies; they're nine-year-old boys who are ready to step off the branch and have an adventure. And so, the adventure that they go on to see a human um, brings them out of their comfort zone and lets them meet other characters. And so, we'll see a lot of the familiar characters like the Banksy Man, Mr. Lizard, Mrs. Snake. Um, and they will sort of um, go on a journey of growing up, I suppose, as they as they travel through the story. Off the eggs got cold, and we had to keep them warm, so we gently sat on them. And your nest is so warm and comfy, <laughs> such a beautiful nest. Yeah. It really wasn't our fault. And then we woke to the sound of a crack. It's scrambled eggs. Oh. Breakfast. Then Mr. Lizard appeared. <gasps> he said he'd sort it, and he did. And, and here, here we are. are. What do you reckon? I just think of the tailors, pretty slick, huh? Well, I think the wonderful thing about these books is that they bring the bush to life um, and in a way that I think really inspires children's imaginations. And we've had an amazing time sort of living in this world where everything is natural and, and part of this um, Australian bush landscape. How do you suppose they're going to fly? Mm -hmm. Suggestions welcome on that one. Please. <laughs> Now, I understand that there are four actors in the play, but they're actually playing a lot of different characters. A lot of characters, yeah. So we have two, act two actors who play Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie, and they go all the way through. But then we have um, Chris Tomkinson, a male actor. He plays every male character other than Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. And Georgia Adamson plays all the female characters. So there is a huge amount of crazy quick changing, which is part of the show, really, the kind of fun of well, who's coming out next and what hats are they going to wear, which is the fun thing about live theatre, you know, I think, for particularly for kids who are coming to the theatre maybe for the first time. Now, of course, this is a, a show for children, um, but no doubt their parents will be coming along with them, and yeah. I imagine that they'll get just as much enjoyment from it as the kids. I hope so, yeah. I mean, you know, it's really fun to, to make something for kids, but knowing that it's a family show, it's for adults, you know, there are some jokes in there which are you know, for grown-ups as well. Um, and I know even when I watch the show kind of run through, you know, by, by about 10 minutes in, I am completely just there with them and I want them to succeed and I want Miss, you know, Banksy and Man to fail and, and them to overcome what they go through. So I think that what's lovely about these stories is that they do pull you in regardless of your age. What do we do now? Nothing. That's a good idea. Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie opens in Sydney this month before it tours nationally to coincide with the centenary of the creation of the characters next year. And of course, this show will entertain audiences both young and old.